Hey there, Deanna Pierce here with another video. I want to say thank you so much for taking the time to spend just a few minutes with me today and watch my video. Thank you so much. If you are new, I want to say welcome. Welcome to my channel. My name is Deanna Fears. I am a petite model coach and I also am an on-camera coach. So what I do is I help people feel and look natural and confident in their photos and on their videos by sharing tips, advice, and methods that work. I also help petite models break into the industry the right way. So that is who I am. This is what I do. Now, if you have already been to my channel, you're coming back. I want to say, what's up? Welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you so much. So today I am going to be talking about something I feel is really, really important. What I do here on my channel is really share some tips and things that really help set you up, uh, whether you're a model, a blogger, or, or whoever, photographers, industry professionals, whatever it is that you're interested to, in, I share this information because I care and I really want to set everyone up for success. So today I am sharing seven things that people do when they are on set for a photo shoot that photographers hate. Yeah, so I have worked with several photographers and I reached out to some of those photographers and I was like, hey, what is it some things that kind of like, you know, aren't so good that people do when they actually, they've already booked a session with you. I'm talking about the day that they show up, they get out in front of the camera and you're really ready to start shooting. And what are some of those things that just kind of like turn the mood, some things that aren't so good that they do, some bad habits that people need to break. So what I want to do is I want to dig into seven of those things and I want to break it down and share what they have said to me in terms of how you can learn from those. So making sure you don't do those if you are doing them, that you stop. If you were thinking about doing them, that you don't. And if you have done them, that you absolutely cut it out. So therefore it can just help the photo shoot go amazing all right so if you're ready to dig in into these tips stay tuned and we're going to get right into it okay y'all so seven things i'm going to try to keep this as quick as possible in a short video number one the one number one pet peeve that photographers notice that a lot of people do is showing up late if you have an appointment if you have a scheduled shoot show up on time and when i say on time i mean you're showing up at least 15 to 20 minutes before you're supposed to be there showing up extra early so if it's 30 minutes i don't care if you sit out in your car finish putting on your makeup finish straighten your hair fixing your clothes whatever have you sending those last text messages off finishing the last minute calls that you're trying to make get there early so you show up on time because all that does is delay everything and everybody and no one likes anyone to show up late i'm sure if you ask yourself if you had an appointment would you want the doctor to show up late you're probably like uh no my time is important same thing goes when you're working on set with photographers show up on time Number two, big, big thing that photographers do not like is hygiene. And I'm talking about taking care of those little things that you know you should have taken care of before your photo shoot, like shaving, uh, fixing your hair, uh, making sure your hair is clean and ready, making sure your nails are clean, no dirt, no dark lines under your fingernails. Um, you know, just make sure your hygiene is where it needs to be in terms of just showing up ready to shoot shave if that's what you do wax if that's what you do laser if that's what you do what do what you need to do to make sure you show up ready don't expect the photographer to just like photoshop that out which brings me to number three another thing that photographers really don't like is when you show up on set and you expect them to photoshop everything what if that photographer doesn't do Photoshop or a lot of, you know, edits and things like that? You don't want to go in expecting that from the photographer. So show up the way you need to show up. You know, work out a few days before if you want to tone something, you know, whatever it is. Like, if you want your makeup done correctly, make sure you get that done. Don't ask the photographer, oh, can you just, like, Photoshop some makeup on me? No. It doesn't work like that because that means that you're not prepared and you want to make sure that you're showing up on set prepared and not expecting the photographer to just work all this, you know, Photoshop magic. No. That's irritating. Okay, so number four. 
a thing that a lot of photographers say is a lot of people, you know, they're confident when they're communicating, they're ready to go, and then whenever they get on set, they're not confident. They're not comfortable in front of the camera. And it's like, okay, well, wait, I thought everything was good. And then they get in front of the camera, like, oh, I don't know what to do with my hands. Oh, I don't, I don't you know, I don't know what to do, you know. And they're, they're kind of awkward, you know, in front of the camera. It's like, oh, my goodness. So now, you know, the photographer has to take time to kind of like get you to warm up. And they have to give, you know, posing advice and posing tips on how to pose and what you should do and things like that. And that kind of takes away from your time as, you know, the person that's getting the, the photos, but also from the photographer. The photographer is supposed to be there taking, you know, pictures. Now, I'm not saying that they can't give you any any direction very well they can give you some but it's your job to show up kind of you know already confident and ready to, to do what it is that you came there for you pay the photographer you know to help to take and capture you in the moment and things in that you're doing it's your job to make sure that you're showing up ready and comfortable. Which leads me which leads me to number five not taking direction now let me tell you something if you're on set and you have a photographer that's giving you some direction if they see something that needs to be fixed Take that direction, listen to what they're saying, and apply it. Now, this is just on the surface. I'm not saying, you know, we're not getting into the stuff like if you're uncomfortable on camera, if you're if they're telling you to do something. We know that is not what I'm talking about here because you always should not do anything that you are not comfortable with. If it's crossing that line, and you know what line I'm you know, referring to if it's crossing a line, absolutely no. I'm just talking about things like if they say, hey, prop your elbow up on the, on the bench, you know, kind of lean back and you prop it up and here, you know, you're not taking, you're leaning forward or you're like all over here, you know, take that direction and listen to what they're saying because they're help, they're looking at you through the lens and they're trying to help you look better and feel confident and look confident. So take that direction because if you don't, that's kind of something that the photographers really don't like that much. Number six, so knowing how to pose is something that a lot of photographers are saying that they really notice that a lot of people show up on set and it kind of goes back to being comfortable on set or not on set, but being comfortable. Yeah, on set on your photo shoot, but also in front of the camera. It's like you need to know some things that you know that you can do. And I, I share so many tips. You can check out my other videos on how to pose and some tips on being confident on camera. I share all of that information. So I will link that in the description description box below and I want you to look at some of those videos take some of those tips so when you show up you really you're really showing up you're really saying hey I know some poses this is what I do you're comfortable in that shoot that photographer's gonna be like oh yeah let's let's I want to work with this person again like we're knocking this out we're making some amazing content we're getting this thing going like everything is going to be good that really helps the photographer do what they do and you're going to have so much fun doing what you do so don't be one of those people that show up and they don't have any, you know, any idea. Like, practice before you go. Do your part. Practice before you show up on set so you're helping the photographer help you. Okay, y'all. Number seven. Last but not least, pet peeve the photographers have for people on set showing up with uninvited guests. A lot of the photographers will tell you, like in their rules, in their contracts, in their emails, they'll say, hey, don't bring any friends to the set. Some photographers have absolutely no problem. They'll say, hey, yeah, you can bring your friends. If you're not clear on whether somebody can come with you to your set or to your photo shoot, I keep saying set, which I mean photo shoot, but it's the same thing. So if you have someone that you want to come to your photo shoot with you, make sure you reach out to that photographer and say, hey, you know, my friend wants to come. Hey, my mom wants to join me. Is that okay? That photographer has no problem with letting you know if it's a yay or nay. They will absolutely let you know, like, hey, not so much. You know, you know, they'll be able to explain it to you. Um, a lot of times, just to give you a little insight, I don't care how comfortable you are, how long that person has been a friend, um, you perform better and you perform different when you can get in your own zone versus having someone extra that you love, you care about, they love and care about you, they're watching you. It is more about you being able to be there, knock out your, what you need to do. You can get in your own zone. You can do your own thing. Now, if you are a minor, 
you always need to have somebody on set with you. You always need to have someone who is an adult to show it to the photo shoot with you. I do not care what that photographer says. This is just coming from, you know, my, hey, Julian, if you are a minor, do not go to a photo shoot or anywhere to take any kind of photos without an adult with you. I don't care how grown you think you may be. Protect yourself. Go with an adult. So now that I got my public service announcement out of the way, I just had to put that out there. If you are a minor in whatever state you're in, take an adult. If you are not a minor and you want to bring your friend, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, I say really, really reconsider that because you can show so much more of your personality being in your own zone. That person that loves you and is going to be there with you is going to make you even more nervous. I don't care how cool y'all are. Now these are things that photographer friends have told me that are some pet peeves and some things that people do that really, really shake the photo shoot. So you don't want to make sure, you're, you don't want to do anything that kind of just adds on extra baggage to your photo shoot. You want to have an amazing photo shoot, whether you're there practicing but to become a petite, petite model. If you're a model, you want to make sure it's easy, breezy, lemon squeezy. So make sure you're not doing any of these things when you're scheduling and performing and showing up for your photo shoot. All right. So those are my seven things for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you like my channel, subscribe. But also I want you to follow me on Instagram at Deanna Fears and check out the website at themilingstandard.com. I have tons of more blog posts, video posts, resources. They're all created from me to you. And since sharing is caring, if you know someone that can use this video or the information that I'm talking about today, feel free to share it with them. And again, I appreciate you so much and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. All right. Bye.